Blog Talk Radio. Good evening. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you for tuning in tonight. This is the first Sunday in the year of 2022, and God has allowed us to see it. What a mighty God we serve. What a holy God we serve. You're tuned in tonight on our Hour of Prayer with Purpose Kingdom Network. Our goal and aim here is to win souls for the kingdom of God and to encourage his people. Amen. If you have a prayer request tonight or even a testimony, feel free to call in. The number is 319-527-6091 and press the number 1 and you'll be placed into the queue. Or you can go into the website at blogtalkradio.com slash Purpose Kingdom. What a mighty God we serve. Let us pray. Oh, God. Oh, God. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Father God, in the name of your dear son, Jesus the Christ, we come boldly to your throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. So God, we enter into your gates with thanksgiving. We enter into your courts with praise. We are thankful unto you, O God, and we bless your name. We love you. We honor you. We reverence you. We praise you tonight with our whole being, hallelujah, because you inhabit the praises of your people. God, we come tonight, first of all, God, we want to acknowledge you as being sovereign. We acknowledge you as being omnipotent, omnipresent, omniscient God. Your eyes go to and fro to behold your creation. You never slumber, neither do you sleep. That means, God, that you are continually watching over your people. So we thank you, God, because you are not only God and creator, but you are our Father. But before we come before your throne, God, we want to ask you, Lord, if we've done anything to offend you, God, we've done anything to offend our brother and God, we ask that you're covered in the blood of Jesus. That we ask that we can, you say in your word in First John 1, 9, that we confess our sins, that you are faithful and just to forgive us and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Do not let the blood cover us at night, oh God. We don't want anything to separate us from your presence. We don't want anything to separate us, oh God. Just, oh God. We invoke your presence tonight. You say what well, two or three are gathered in your name that you are in the midst. Hallelujah. God, your word says that if two of you agree on earth and touch anything that they shall ask of the Father, it shall be done. So God, right now we just touch and agree and ask you, God, to just bless us with your presence and light, oh God. Show up, God, and do the impossible. Show up, God, and do whatever you want to do. Hallelujah. Oh God, we praise you. We thank you. We love you. God, we come in the name of Jesus the Christ, because in the name of Jesus, there's power. In the name of Jesus the Christ, there's healing. In the name of Jesus the Christ, there's deliverance. God, your word is true. In the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. God, we come tonight that wonderful name, because you said God was our faith. It is impossible to please you. So we believe that you sent Jesus Christ to die on the cross on our behalf, oh God. So we come in faith. We come in the name of Jesus. We come, oh God, asking you to let your will be done tonight. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. God, we thank you, Lord. So, God, your word says that my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my faith and turn from their wicked ways that you will hear from heaven, will forgive our sins and heal the land. Oh, God, America needs a healing. God, this whole world needs a healing. God, every continent, every country, oh, Lord. So, God, we come tonight, Lord, lifting up our spiritual leaders before your throne. God, you know all about them. Hallelujah. God, you said man was your greatest creation. God, we lift up every leader of the gospel before your throne, Lord. God, give them a heart that will love you. Give them a heart that will be sold out for you. God, let them preach the gospel, God, with their own motive is to see people saved, oh God. That the only motive is to please you and let them want to hear, well done, thou good and faithful servant. God, let them know, God, that the gospel is free. It changes lives. Hallelujah. So God, draw your shepherds to you like never before, Lord. Give them a compassionate heart for people. Give them a compassionate heart to want to serve the, the men and women of God. Oh, God, touch them like only you can, Lord. Oh, God, every apostle, every bishop, every elder, every pastor, every evangelist, every teacher, every minister of the gospel, oh, every musician, everybody who makes up the body of Christ, God, you love us all the same. There's no big I of little you. You love us all the same, oh, God. You know, we all stand in need of. God, we praise you. God, we need each other because iron sharpens iron, Lord. God, let the weak bear hair, they both shine. God, get your glory. Get your glory tonight, oh God. Oh God, you are the whole body of Christ around the world, Lord. Let them know, God, that you are real. Let them know that Jesus Christ died as a ransom for us that we might be saved and have a right to the tree of life. Uh, God, it's not in man. It's not in a statue. Oh, God, you are, oh, God, you are the true and living God. So, God, we come tonight asking you, oh, Lord, that you continue to meet the body of Christ's need, oh, Lord. God, continue to keep us covered and protected, oh, God. Hallelujah. God, we praise you. What a mighty God we serve. What a holy God we serve. Oh, Lord, we lift up the earthly eaters before you, Lord, because you're concerned about man. So, God, we lift up every president, every vice president, every prime minister, Every ambassador, every king, every queen, oh Lord, we just come up before you. Have your way, oh God. Have your way in the name of Jesus. And God, be with the Supreme Court, Lord. Oh God, be with every judge that makes decisions, oh Lord. Be with every, oh God. I move on the airway, Lord. Move like only you can, oh God. Oh, Lord, hear our prayer. Holy Spirit, lead tonight. Have your way in the name of Jesus the Christ. Oh, God, someone needs a healing right now in their body. God, touch bodies right now. Jesus, you are the greatest physician. Jesus, you are wounded for our transgressions. You are bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon you. And with your stripes, we are healed, God. You can heal any disease. You can heal any sickness, oh, God. Oh, Lord, there is a bomb in Gilead, oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Send more healing over the airway, God. People are sick with COVID-19, but God, you're a healer. Someone has diabetes, God, you're a healer. Someone has high blood pressure, God, you're a healer. Someone has cancer, God, you're a healer. Oh, depression, oppression, you're a healer, God. Oh, Jesus. You can heal MS, multiple sclerosis. You can heal HIV and AIDS, oh God. You can 
heal renal disease, kidney failure. God, there's no sickness that you're not willing to heal. Yes, God, touch your emotion. Oh, God, we thank you. God, be with those who are mourning tonight, Lord. Continue to keep the Lee family comforted, God. Be with the Mills family, Lord. Everyone who's mourning today, this evening, oh, God. You said we can man you up on the night, but joy coming in the morning. Oh, God. In the lonely hour, God, in the darkest hour, Lord, you can comfort. You are the God of all comfort. So, God, God, we praise you. We magnify you. We edify you, Lord. Have your way, Lord. You're moving. Have your way, oh, God. Oh, God, someone's in need of a financial miracle. Someone's in need, God. Oh, God, the king's heart is in the hands of the Lord. And as the rivers of water, you show myself you will, God. Let the rich get out of their bounty to the poor, God. The homeless, the widows, the orphans, oh, they both shine, God. Mm. God, we thank you. We praise you. Oh, we praise you. You inhabit the presence of your people. When the praise you is brought and the blessings come down. God, we praise you. We'll tell you how good you are. We'll tell you how wonderful you are. We'll tell you how magnificent you are. How glorious, how victorious you are. Hallelujah. God, you inhabit the praises of your people. Have your way, Lord. In the mental institutions, the hospitals, the prisons, Lord. How can they hear without a preacher? How can they preach except they be set? Oh, God, you're not just concerned about them being behind bars, but you're concerned about them being trapped in their minds as well. Oh, God. Yay. Oh, God. Send your word, Lord. Use your people like ever before. In these last and evil days, oh God, the scriptures are being fulfilled, but yet you don't want anyone to test, but all come unto repentance. Hallelujah. Have your way, oh God. Have your way. And all those who are wrongfully accused, God, continue to let their DNA show up and fight for them. Hallelujah. Mm, hey, God. Have your way, Lord, like never before. God, we praise you. We magnify you. God, remember the inner cities, Lord, all around the globe. Remember those who are in poverty. Oh, God. Have your way, Lord, as we touch and agree, as the on the line, God, as we touch and agree, oh, God. God, we're praying your word, hallelujah. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things we have unto you, Lord, as we're seeking the kingdom, as we're seeking Jesus Christ, Lord, every need on the airway tonight, your promises of every need, according to your riches and glory by Christ Jesus. And God, those who don't even call in with a prayer request, God, you know their heart already, God, because you know every heart, Lord. Man looks at the outward appearance, but God, you look at the heart, you try the reins of the heart, Lord. Yay! Touch more, Have your way, oh God. We serve a great God. We serve a holy God. We serve the Alpha and the Omega. Yay, God. Thank you for Jesus. Thank you for Jesus. We thank you for Jesus. Yes, yeah. Oh, God, we praise you. Oh, God, we praise you. Have your way tonight, Lord. Have your way, oh, God. Oh, we praise you, Lord. God, the police officers, Lord, as you're being your Shanda. God, give them a heart for the community, God, where they serve the Lord. Mm. Give them a desire to make a change in the community, God, to make it a fear, Shanda. Mm. The firemen, Lord, as they go, Rebo Shanda. 
Shanda. Oh God, we praise you. We magnify you, Lord. Oh, we praise you. Have your way tonight, oh God. Have your way. This is your time, Lord. We're sensitive to the movement of the Holy Spirit on Purpose Kingdom Network. Have your way, oh God. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Oh God, great is your faithfulness. Great is your loving kindness. And great are your tender mercies. God, we yield tonight. We give all tonight. We lay all on the altar, oh God. Our family members, oh Lord. We give you back your word. Train up a child in the way that they should go, or the old will not depart from it, God. We're giving you back your word, Lord. Ask me, my house, we shall serve the Lord, God. We'll continue to pray, Lord, for them, because you told us to pray. Always pray, every Sunday. Oh, God, people who are in need of jobs, Lord. Mm-hmm. God, open up doors that no man can shut, God. And while you're shutting doors that no man can open, oh, God, we thank you for keeping us covered as your children. We thank you, God. Hallelujah. We thank you for what you're doing. We give you all the glory, all of the honor, and all of the praise. And Jesus' precious name that we pray with thanksgiving. Everyone say amen, amen, and amen. What an awesome God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Again, if you have a prayer request tonight, if you'd like, you can feel free to call in. Again, the number it is 319 6091, you can press the number one and be placed into the queue, or you can go to the website at blogtalkradio.com slash kingdom. We're going to bring on our minister, Agent Allen, to come on and minister in song. Amen. Lord, you are good and your mercy endureth forever. Yeah. Lord, you are good and your mercy endureth forever, yeah. Good people from every nation and town, from generation to generation, we worship you. Yeah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, we worship you for who you are. Lord, you are good and your mercy endureth forever. Lord, you are good and your mercy endureth forever. Yeah. Oh, Lord, you are good and your mercy endureth forever. God, people from every nation and tongue. From generation to generation, we worship you. Hallelujah, hallelujah, we worship you for who you are. Because you are good. Yes, you are, yes, you are, yes, you are, yes, you are. You are good all the time. All the time, you are good, you are good. All the time, all the time, you are good. Say you are good, all the time, all the time. You are good, you are good. All the time, all the time, you are good. Lord, you are good and your mercy endureth forever. Lord, you are good and your mercy endureth forever. 
but the Lord, my sister, because that's what the Lord gave me to share on tonight. Praise. Hallelujah. I'm going to be coming. Oh, God. Oh, God, we praise you. Oh, God, we thank you for the confirmation. That's why my heart is filled with praise. Hallelujah. Oh, God, we praise you. Mm-hmm. You are good, God. You are holy, God. You are loving and compassionate, God. Oh, God, we praise you. That's why my heart is filled with praise. I'm going to come from a familiar passage of Scripture. It's found in Psalm 150. The 150th Psalm. This is the King James Version. It says, Praise ye the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in the firmness of his power. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with the sounds of the trumpet. Praise him with the psaltery and harp. Praise him with the timbre and dance. Praise him with stringed instruments and organs. Praise him upon the loud cymbals. Praise him upon the high sounding cymbals. Let everything that have breath praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. You know, that scripture is often read in the congregation before the Sunday service of morning worship begins, amen, because there's something about praise when we praise God. Praise invokes his presence, hallelujah. Now, when we're talking about the book of Psalm, you know, everyone can relate to the Psalm. You know, Psalm is um, composed of sacred songs or poems. When we look at the word praise, it's the expression of approval or admiration, which is respect or honor, or reverence. That word approval is something or someone which is God is good. Amen? <laughs> I know we can agree God is a good God. Now, there are a lot of ways to praise God. You know, we hear words that represent praise like yada, which means hands raised, and shabbat, which means a shout for joy. But we know in Psalm, the 22nd chapter of Psalm, the third verse, it says that the Lord inhabits the praises of his people. Inhabit. That means to live in or occupy. So when we praise God, he comes in to suck with us and live with us and he he, he protects us. Amen. He surrounds us with his presence. Hallelujah. You know, when we praise God, praise confuses the enemy. You know, a praise is a powerful weapon and deliverance and in spiritual warfare. 
And we talk about Psalms, how Psalms, I said it's a song, you know, and when we talk about the Psalms and even songs, you know, they should be in Scripture, amen, or well, it's the Word, when we talk about a Psalm. And even songs, you know, I like those old hymnals back in the day, because they always reverence Scripture, amen. Some of them do today, the new ones do as well, but give me an old hymn from back in the day, hallelujah, I can praise all day, amen. Don't we praise God? We are actually engaging in we are engaging in praise, and what we're doing is we are transferring our battles over to God. Come on, somebody! Hallelujah! What a mighty God we serve! We praise the only true and living God. You know, in Ephesians the sixth chapter, verse twelve, it says that for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. But thanks be to God, he says that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Every tongue that rise up against us in judgment, thou shalt condemn. For this is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and the righteousness of me, saith the Lord. So we love God. When we praise God, he has us protected. Oh, God, the angels of the Lord are kept around about them that fear them. Hallelujah. He will keep us safe at all times. We praise you, God. We love you, Lord. It also says that in Ephesians, it is speaking to yourself in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord. You know, songs are so powerful. You know, um, there's some songs that we as Christians cannot listen to. Why? Because whatever we listen to and, and meditate on, it gets in our spirits, right? So that's why we can listen to certain songs. But we can always get a hymn. We can always get the scriptures and meditate on those scriptures and sing those scriptures. Why? Because we're making melody in our heart to the Lord. And again, there's something about praise. They say when the praise is gone, then the blessings come down. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. You know, there's a, a song, I think it's written by um, William Murphy. It says, praise is what I do when I want to be close to you. I lift my hands and praise. Praise is who I am. I will praise them while I can. I'll bless them at all times. Praise is what I do. Even when I'm going through, I learn to worship you. There's something about a praise on the inside. When we praise God with a whole heart, God shows up. Hallelujah. And you know, like I said earlier, praise infuses the enemy. Hallelujah. We have victory in our praise. Amen. Again, if you have a, a testimony or you have a prayer request, again, the number is 319 527 6091. You can press the number one, you'll be placed in the queue, amen. Or you can go onto the website at blogtalkradio.com slash perfect kingdom. Now, I'm going to read, remember I said how praise confuses the enemy? I'm going to read one more scripture, and it's found in Second Chronicles, the 20th chapter, amen. Again, this is the King James Version. I like to come from the King James Version. I know there are a lot of study Bibles that we can use, you know, but mostly everyone does have a King James Version, amen? So I always like to come from that, from that, um, those scriptures of the writings in King James Version. So, it's, again, it's Second Chronicles, the 20th chapter. I'm going to start at verse 9. And you can read this in its entirety in your own time, okay? So I'm going to start at the ninth verse. It says, if when evil cometh upon us as the sword, judgment, or pestilence, or famine, we stand before this house and in thy presence, for the name is in this house, and cry unto thee in our affliction, then thou wilt hear in hell. And now, behold, the children of Ammon and Moab and Mount Zer, whom thou wouldest not let Israel invade. When they came out of the land of Egypt, but they turned from them and destroyed them not. Behold, I say, how they reward us to come to cast us out of thy possession, which thou hast given us to inherit. O oh, our God, wilt thou not judge them? For we have no might against this great company that cometh against us. Neither know what we to do. But our eyes are upon thee. Hallelujah. And all to thee is still before the Lord with their little ones, 
their wives, and their children. Then upon Jeriel, the son of Zachiah, the son of Benaiah, the son of Jael, the son of Mennonite, a Levite of the sons of Asaph, came the spirit of the Lord in the midst of the congregation. And he said, Hearken ye, all Judah, and ye inhabitants of Jerusalem, and thou king Jehoshaphat, thus saith the Lord unto you, Be not afraid nor dismayed by reason of this great multitude, for the battle is not yours, but God. Tomorrow go ye down against them. Behold, they come up by the cliff of Zizim, and ye shall find them at the end of the brook before the wilderness of Jerusalem. Ye shall not need to fight in this battle. Set yourselves, stand ye still, and see the salvation of the Lord with you, O Judah and Jerusalem. Fear not, nor be dismayed. Tomorrow go out against them, for the Lord will be with you. And Jehoshaphat bowed his head with his face to the ground. And all of Judea and the inhabitants of Jerusalem fell before the Lord, worshiping the Lord. And the Levites, of the children of Canaanite and of the children of Christ stood up to praise the Lord God of Israel with a loud voice on high. Hallelujah. There's that Shabbat and Yeshiva. Hallelujah. And they rose early in the morning and went forth into the wilderness of the care. And as they went forth, the Hathabah stood and said, Hear me, O Judah, and the inhabitants of Jerusalem. Believe in the Lord your God, so shall ye be established. Believe his prophets, so shall ye prosper. And when he had consulted with the people, he appointed singers unto the Lord. Does that praise the Lord? He appointed singers unto the Lord, and that, and that they should praise the beauty of holiness as they went out before the army and to say, praise the Lord for his mercy and joy forever. Verse 22, and I'm going to stop right here. And when they began to sing and to praise, the Lord set ambushments against the children of Ammon, Moab, Mount Zer, which were come against Judah, and they were smitten. Hallelujah. Because they praised and worshiped God, the Lord set ambushments against them. Oh, oh, God, against their enemy. Hallelujah. So what are you saying, Abish? What are you saying, sister? Praise ye the Lord. Because when the praise of God before God, hallelujah, he surrounds us with his presence. And when we have the presence of the almighty God, what can the enemy do to us? Nothing. Yes, he may try to attack, but he cannot ever Praise, hallelujah, as long as we praise and worship God. When the praise is up, then the blessing comes down, hallelujah. You know, as I was reading this tonight, we're in the year 2022. Thank God we made it. You know, some people didn't get to see 2022. Some went on to be with the Lord, amen. But God still has us here for a purpose. Hallelujah. Oh, God, we praise you. And we as the children of God, we are not going to leave this earth until we have accomplished everything that God has put into our hands to do. Hallelujah. There are people waiting on us to hear the gospel. There are people waiting on us to hear our testimony. There are people waiting on us to tell them about the goodness of the Lord. Hallelujah. It's going to be in our praise. Hallelujah. When the praise is gone, then the blessings come down. We pray. Praise the true and living God. Hallelujah. Here on purpose, kingdom network. Won't he do it? Yes, he will. Hallelujah. Now, as I was reading this tonight, and I went back to, you know, we're in the year of 2022. How about we're in the 20th chapter of Second Chronicles? The 20th chapter, and I'm going to bring out the 22nd verse. 2022. This shall be our banner. For this year, amen. Praise is what I do. No matter what I'm going through, I'll praise them in all times. Hallelujah. Now, we're talking about what, what a banner is, right? A banner, I said earlier how the praises that we do confuse the enemy, right? It stops the attack of the enemy. Hallelujah. When we're talking about a banner, a banner is a long strip of cloth bearing a slogan or a design, right? And we can Picture our slogan design. It says, in 
when they began to sing and to praise the Lord, that ambushment, hallelujah. That's what our band's going to say for the year 2022, amen. <laughs> hallelujah. That's our banner. And a mantra, you know what a mantra is? It's a word or sound repeated to aid concentration in meditation. Hallelujah. Our mantra, amen, is going to be our praise, hallelujah. Watch this, how do we praise God? Mm, I'm gonna tell you how. Oh God, <laughs> we praise God by putting them first. Hallelujah. We praise God by telling how wonderful He is, how magnificent He is, how marvelous He is, how faithful He is. Hallelujah. Oh God, we praise You with our all in all. We only praise You, God. We surrender. Hallelujah. That's another form of praise is by surrendering to the Lord. Hallelujah. And when we praise God, it's all is a good thing to give God back his word, hallelujah, to give God back his word. God, we come with your word. You know, without faith, it's impossible to please you. So God, we come, God. God, if our faith is weak, God, show us where we can build up our faith. We know we build up our being in the word of God. We know we build up our faith by praying and witnessing. That's how we build up our faith, oh God. If faith pleases you, that we please you with our praise. As our praise and worship go before your throne, oh God, we give you our all Hallelujah. Because in the praise of their protection and the praise of their prevail, we praise you, oh God. What a mighty God we serve. What a holy God we serve. So, as I said, we praise God. We remind him of how good he is. We remind him that he is our father. We remind him how we love him. Hallelujah. So we always give him back the word. And guess what, too? We can give Satan the word of God as well. We can tell Satan, get me behind me, Satan. Because the Lord rebuke you. Hallelujah. I praise the almighty God. I'm a child of the almighty God. Hallelujah. And praise is what I do. No matter what I'm going through, I praise God. Because he who dwells in the secret place of the most high God shall abide on the side of the Almighty. Praise is what I do. Hallelujah. That should be our mantra. That should be our banner for 2022. Praise is what I do. Hallelujah. Because the praise is that go up, then the blessings come down. The praise that we put out, it can choose the enemy. The praise that we put out, hold on, it stops the attack of the enemy. Hallelujah. Praise is what I do. Hallelujah. Well, I'm going to be close to you, oh God. I'll praise you in every situation. I'll praise you in every circumstance. No matter what it looks like, no matter what it feels like, I'm going to praise you, oh God. I'm going to praise you. Because in the praises, there's my deliverance, hallelujah. In the praises, hallelujah, I get my healing. In the praises, hallelujah, I'm protected, hallelujah. Praise is what I do when I want to be close to you, hallelujah. So if I can cherish anyone today, let Second Chronicles chapter 20, verse 22, again, the year of 2022, let praise be your banner. Let praise Praise be your mantra, hallelujah. Our mantra, that's a word or sound that's repeated to aid us in concentration and in meditation. So we're going to praise in the word of God. We're going to take the word of God and put it in our hearts, hallelujah. So that the mind is always praise God. Praise is helping us keep our heart with all diligence, solve all the issues of life. So now we're going to praise you in 2022. Because we get hallelujah. We praise you, O oh God. What a mighty God we serve. What a holy God we serve. So I hope something, I know something in song tonight that was ministered to the ministration. I know it touched your heart. I know the prayer that went up pricked your heart. I know the scriptures that were read pricked your heart. Because there's life in the scriptures, amen. Oh God, we thank you. We draw nigh unto you, Lord. With a pure heart. We want to be thankful, oh God. We want to praise you, and no matter what we're going through, hallelujah. We praise you, oh God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh God. And before we have the, oh God, the altar call, 
Oh God. Mm. Oh God. Oh Jesus. Mm. Mm. Thank you, oh God. I don't believe there's any prayer requests on the line tonight, so I'm going to go ahead and do the altar call, and at the altar call, we're going to have our announcements and then our closing prayer, amen. Oh God, we praise you. Mm. Thank you, Lord. If there's someone on the line tonight, you feel as though you're getting weak in your faith. I encourage you to praise your way through. Hallelujah. If there's someone on the line tonight who thinks their labor is in vain in the Lord, no, of course not. Mm-hmm. It's not in vain. So keep praising on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. If there's someone on the line tonight that don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, if you did not know before tonight that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, and whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. If you are that person on the line tonight, who says that they now see that they are lost, that I am lost without Christ. I encourage you, I invite you to open up your heart, your soul, and let Jesus in. The word of God says, I stand at the door and knock. And if any man will open up, I will come in and sup with him and he with me. Hallelujah. So God is standing at the door of your heart knocking tonight. Let him in, hallelujah. I promise you he'll change your life. Yes, God. Won't he do it? Oh, God, we praise you. I always like to remind you that we are not smart enough to run our own life. We don't know enough. We can get as many degrees that we want, as many accolades that people can give us. But if you don't have Jesus Christ in your life, it's in vain. Hey, oh, God. Hallelujah. Mm. God doesn't want anyone to perish. but all come unto repentance. But if you leave this side of the Jordan, if you leave this earth well called life without Jesus Christ as your Savior, you're going to miss God. So I encourage you, if you want eternal life, I encourage you, if you want to change in your life, in your family's life, in your legacy, because it's not about just you, hallelujah. You can make a decision tonight to change your whole household. Yes, And you can do that by accepting Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. See, I have news for you. It's not in Dalai Lama. It's not in Scientology. It's not in the stars. It's not in any man. It's in the man, Jesus the Christ. Hallelujah. Because God made the cloud. He made it for all men. And all men, the only way they can be saved is by accepting Jesus Christ as their personal Savior. So if you want the God that we talk about here on Purpose Kingdom Network, if you are sick and tired of being sick and tired, if you believe the scriptures that were just read, if you let the song that was sang minister to you, if you let the prayer that went up before the throne of God, you felt it and pricked your heart. Then I invite you to repeat after me. Because now, if you made a conscious decision, if you set your heart toward God, if you accepted Jesus Christ and want to, you can now call God Father. Say, Father God, 
I come to you in faith tonight. I believe that Jesus Christ died for me so that I might have a right to the tree of life. Come into my heart, Lord Jesus, and God, I'll live for you. I repent of my sins, Lord. That means I'm turning away from all darkness and evil. And I'm putting on the light, Jesus the Christ. Hallelujah. So if you said that prayer, you are now born again, saved by God and Jesus Christ. Welcome into the family of God. We encourage you here at Perfect Kingdom Network. To find a Bible believing, gospel preaching church in your community. Tell someone tonight that you've been born again. Hallelujah. And tell them how you've been born again. And ask them if they are saved or if they have Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. If not, they can have the invitation as well. And you can always tune in here nightly on Purpose Kingdom Network. Again, if you said that prayer, welcome into the family of God. Hallelujah. We're going to now bring on our visionary, amen. Pastor Toy Tundale, amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah, God. Thank you, Jesus. We thank and bless God for that word. What a mighty word. Hallelujah. Uh, the pray, giving God his praise, giving God his due. Hallelujah. And of all of the scriptures quoted, quoted, the one that I love the most is that God inhabits the praises of his people. Hallelujah. Yeah. And habit means that he comes and he sits down and just hangs out with you. Hallelujah, God. I mean, just imagine God just like stopping what he's doing because you praising him. Hallelujah. He just stopped what he's doing. Oh, she put, let me come sit next to her right here. Hallelujah, God. Yeah. Sit right by her side no matter what she praising me about. She would be praising me for a victory she ain't even seen yet, or he ain't even seen yet, but I'm going to just sit right here and inhabit this praise. I'm going to hang out with him or her. I'm going to sit with him and her. I'm going to suck with him and her. I'm going to protect him or her. Hallelujah. We bless God for that word that has gone forth. We bless God for the music ministry that has gone forth this evening. We thank and bless God by faith for the soul that we believe gave their life to Christ this evening, for that backslidden soul that came back into right relationship with God this evening. We thank and bless God for each and every one of you. We invite you to join in with us tomorrow evening at 9 p.m., Excuse me, we will be broadcasting live again tomorrow evening at 9 p.m. with the real rap and the host, Evangelist Ty T.C. Nelson, right here on Mm -hmm. www.blogtalkradio.com backslash Purpose Kingdom. Please join in with us, man, woman, child, wherever you are, and be blessed by the man of God. Evangelist, we thank and bless God for that word. The ministry is back in your hands to close us out. Amen, amen. Thank you, Pastor Troy, for those announcements. God is a good God. Amen. Thank you for tuning in tonight. And again, remember the scripture, praise is what I do. Hallelujah. Not that wasn't the scripture, but that was the theme, praise is what I do. You know, and again, when you have time, in your spare time, or not spare time, when you do your reading and meditation this week, read the whole chapter, Second Chronicles, the 20th chapter, amen? And again, our scripture focus is 20, the 20th chapter, verse 22, 2022, and our banner. And when they began to sing and to praise, the Lord set up ambushment against their enemy. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Father God, in the name of your dear son, Jesus the Christ, God, we just thank you for meeting us at the appointed time, oh God. We thank you for your son, Jesus the Christ. 
for his obedience. And God, we thank you for your love. God, we thank you for your word that, that we meditate on and it gives us life and it gives us strength and it gives us power and gives us hope. God, we just thank you because it is in you that we live and we move and we have our being. You not you are not just only God and creator, but you are our father. And not only your father, you are the best father there will ever be or is, oh God. So we thank you tonight for blessing us with your presence. We just thank you for the spirit of unity that we have through our purpose kingdom network. We thank you, we just love you, though, eh? oh God. We just thank you. Oh God, we praise you. Oh, God, we lift up the host before you tonight, God. Remember Maureen Lee and her family, God. Touch Pastor Toy's body, God. You can heal COVID. Mm-hmm. God, I thank you for touching my body, Lord. I thank you, God. You are that kind of God. Hallelujah. Oh, God, we praise you. God, remember the ministers on Purpose Kingdom Network, God. Minister in God, all, all the ministers, God, the daughters of Ruth, God, oh, God, sisters, God, all the evil sons of God. You know our needs, God. Continue to keep us healthy and, and strong, God, and continue to keep us grounded and rooted in our faith and in the word of God. The faith that you've given us, Lord, you give us faith the size of a mother. Seed, and we thank you for it, God. Hallelujah. Oh, God, we praise you. We magnify you. We edify you, Lord. God, remember our families, Lord, our loved ones, our spiritual families, God, the body of Christ, God, our co workers, our friends, oh, God. Yes, Lord. Oh, the whole body of Christ, uh, we lift them up before you. God, remember every mother in Zion, every father in Zion. Remember Mother Charlotte, oh God, Mother Huff, Lord, Mother Lorraine, God, all the mothers in your world, all evil sons. Keep them covered, Lord, every father in your world. Praise you. We honor you. Oh, God, you're worthy. You're holy. We thank you. And God, as we sleep tonight, Lord, your presence is here. God, we pour your presence. We pour your love. Hallelujah. Oh, God. And when we sleep tonight, Lord, continue to keep our homes covered under the blood of Jesus. Keep our automobiles covered under the blood of Jesus. Keep our children and grandchildren and great-grandchildren covered under the blood of Jesus. Keep our finances, Lord, our minds, our souls. Everything that pertains to us, God, you are concerned about. So, God, tonight we humble ourselves under the head of the Almighty God that you may exalt us in due time. We cast all our cares upon you. God, we are serving in humility, Lord. There's no big eyes or little use. God, we are humble before your throne, Lord. Yay! Because we are. We know, God, if it had not been for you, it was on our side. Where would we be? So, God, we thank you. We praise you. We honor you. We already know we have the victory because the praise is up, and praise is what we do. But we want to be close to you. That's going to be our mantra for 2022. <laughs> That's going to be our banner for 2022. Because we know the praise has confused the enemy. The praise has stopped the ambushment. Hallelujah. So we praise you, oh God. <laughs> when we praise you, we turn of our battles to you. And we know that our battles are not ours. They belong to you, oh God. So we thank you. We praise you. We honor you. And, God, as we sleep tonight, God, give us sweet dreams in you. And we'll wake up tomorrow morning, God. We'll wake up with a new determination, <laughs> a new hunger and thirst for holiness and righteousness. Because <laughs> God, you told us in your word, be holy, if I'm holy. Without holiness, no man shall see God. Without Jesus Christ, no man shall see God. So, God, we thank you. We praise you. And we honor you. To God be the glory for the things that he has done. God, we thank you for the testimonies that have been given this week, God. We thank you, God, for the victories that have been won this week, oh God. We thank you for the testimony that's going to come forth in 2022, God. We thank you for the deliverance that's going to take place in 2022, oh God. We thank you for the saving of our household that's going to take place in 2022, oh God. Hallelujah. 
God, we thank you, Lord. God, we know you're outside of time. You are eternal, but time is given to all men, oh God. And we thank you and we praise you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We praise you. Thank you, Lord, for hearing our prayer. And Jesus' name that we pray with thanksgiving. Every heart say amen, amen, and amen. Again, I want to thank everyone for tuning in tonight. May God continue to bless you. May God continue to make his face to shine upon you. Hallelujah. And again, thank you. And we invite you to tune in tomorrow night for Evangelist God. Amen. Good night. We love you at Purpose Kingdom Network, but God loves you more. God bless you. Jesus led. He raised me, I will not lose. He saved me, I will not lose. Set me free, I will not lose. Step one wanna see me down, I will not lose. He saved me. Yeah.